is a company with a mission to normalize mental health struggles. Hi Sharks, my name is Sophie Nistico. I'm from Trumbull, Connecticut, and I am here seeking $250,000 for 10% of my business. Sharks, you may not be able to tell from the big smile that I have on my face, but I cry and I cry a lot. But guess what? We all cry because we're human. Kevin, I know you have a tough exterior, but I've seen even you shed a tear in the tank. Never happens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a mission to destigmatize mental health as it's not something that we should hide, but rather something that we should embrace and wear it proudly. Mm. And that's exactly why I created See the Way I See, a size inclusive mental health awareness clothing brand that emphasizes positive affirmations in a way that's never been done before. What we do is simple. We add signature, reassuring reminders to the sleeves of your sweatshirts to give people that little boost that they find themselves needing. So Lori, if you're anything like me, you're an overthinker. <laughs> Just remember to breathe in and breathe out. <laughs> and Mark, if you're ever feeling anxious about all the deals you have in the works, just look to your sleeve to be reminded that this feeling too shall pass. And I get it. If you don't want to wear your heart on your literal sleeve, we also have rings, stickers, keychains, and so much more to give people that reminder to carry with them throughout the day. Sharks, I built a community through the power of social media, and my followers are with me every step of the way. Together, we are breaking down barriers to end the stigma surrounding common mental health struggles once and for all. So what do you say? Are you ready to see the way I see? Sharks, in front of you is a crew neck, a keychain, and a sticker that I designed, so feel free to check them out and get in your feels. Sophie, how did you come up with your business idea? You know, since I was young, I've always had a passion for helping others. I always knew that I wanted to be a nurse, and you know, going into high school, I started to develop pretty severe anxiety. Fast forward to my sophomore year of nursing school, I started to develop even more severe anxiety. So I decided to go down to part-time, and in that time, I refound my passion for art that I've had since I was 10. I took the $500 that I had in my bank account, I bought a printer and a sticker cutting machine. I started to design mental health based stickers. I started selling them online and I just continued to reinvest the money until I was able to actually purchase my first order of crewnecks. And I thought that it was gonna take at least two to three to four months to sell 100 sweatshirts and I was willing to do it. But to my surprise, it only took two days for it to Bam. sell. Oh what my happened? gosh. Wow. Nice. What happened? So I have been using social media for as long as it's been out, but I was able to use it to my advantage at this point where I was sharing my art on my page, which was called See the Way I See. So that was also where the name came from. You were seeing my art from my perspective. So something's wow. happening here. Are you spending a lot of money on advertising or not? None. I am this is pure community. None. 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 You go. That's awesome. Sophie, what do you think you're going to be doing this year? So sales for this year would be $260,000. Is that year to date? Wow. Or? Actually, I'm sorry. That was $260,000 in 24 hours. What? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Wait a second. Take, wait, hold on, guys. Let's take a couple steps. You're selling your stuff based off of drops, then apparently. Yes, exactly. Okay. I'm so trying to do a drop a month. Rather than having something for sale all the time, mm -hmm. you make an announcement on social media. Exactly. If you're doing it right, then there's a frenzy. Everybody tries to get it, and it sells out quickly, right? Yes. And so this is your primary product. Your uh, the crewnecks and hoodies, yes. Okay, so crewnecks and hoodies, what do you sell them for and what do they cost you to make? Crewnecks, I sell them for $60 retail and they cost $21 landed. Okay, to make. and hoodies? Hoodies, um, I charge $75 and those cost about $25. Okay, landed. this year, year to date? Year to date, year to date is $790,000. Whoa! Wow. And how many people are in your company? Just me. Oh. You are making a boatload of money. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> How old are you? 24. What's taking you so long? <laughs> so how much money is in your bank account right now? So I just had a drop and I need to purchase my next drop, but it's around $450,000. Nice. <laughs> wow. wow. And that's profit, really but you're just reinvesting your profits. Exactly. Right. I've started with $500 in my bank account and I've grown it to this point with yeah, nothing. Yeah, yeah. So, no, so I'm, I'm getting, getting anxiety. Wow. Listen, I have a crew neck for it. That'll reduce your anxiety <laughs> yeah, for Sophie, sure. Sophie, I got a, I got an idea of a business that I want to start. I'll sell you 20% for 450 thousand dollars. Well, you're selling to her. Yeah, she got the money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, what do you need a shark for? You're doing so well. So, I'm proud of myself for how far I've gotten it, but I have zero background in business. 
My family has zero background in business, and I just feel like I'm hitting that point where I need a mentor. Sophie, why do you think you're worth 2.5 million bucks? So, total sales for my company has been just over 2.3 mil. Nice. And I'm projecting to finish at a million this year, and then next year, 1.75. I just continue to see this business growing and continuing to scale. How much did you make on that 2.3 million? So the first year was $900,000 in sales, and that was the year that I really did not know what I was doing. <laughs> so I profited, still a good number, around 115,000. And then the next year, 2021, I made $640,000 in sales, profited around 235,000, and then this year, wow. 790,000. So I'm starting, I'm finding my way. You're you know? a star. You're done. <laughs> Sophie, this cash flow should bring a lot of peace to you. I mean, <laughs> I gotta tell you that I don't really know how to help you. A lot of people talk about when they're sitting or standing where you are, what's going to happen. Just listening to what already happened gives you 100% street cred. I mean, it's unreal. So this thing where you don't know anything about business, I don't really <laughs> buy it anymore, okay? I mean, it's you're doing better than 90% of the people that stand in front of me there. That's just incredible. Thank you. But look, I, I, it, it's not a fit for me. I don't know how to help you. You're killing it. Thank you. But for that reason, I'm out. Okay. People should be able to show their emotions, and that's probably why we're in such a bad situation, because people shame you for doing that. So I applaud you, for, you. for doing this. But you don't need our help. I think you're doing excellent. And right now, you have a great community. That community is searching for people like you who yeah. they resonate with and they're ready to support you and the proof is here. You don't need me. I don't think I'll add much value. Uh, so I'm out. Okay, thank you. Listen, I think you're amazing. Thank you. I had no business background. <laughs> a true entrepreneur to me is somebody who knows how to drive a business. You have great instincts and you figured it out. You actually maybe don't realize it, but you are a businesswoman. You already are. Thank you. I would not feel good taking a percentage of your company. I don't think you need it. I will be a supporter, not an investor. So I'm out. Thank you so much. Sophie, what does being an entrepreneur mean to you? It means, you know, to me it shows me that I'm capable of a lot more than what I thought I was. Because it let me find that I am capable of doing this. And to become an entrepreneur is just something that I never thought, not, I never thought I'd be standing here alone. So, you know. What, what you've been able to accomplish is insane, right? And I'll caution you that, right, let your community grow your business not a team, because when you bring in a team, you try to act like an old school business, because that's what people think they sh they're supposed to do for a business. Be who you are to your community, and your community will, you'll grow with it. And you don't want an investor for that, because you're already putting money in the bank, and all we'd be doing is taking what you earn, right? Keep on being you, keep on doing what you're doing, because it's, it's amazing, but Thank you. I just wouldn't feel right, so for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, you know, I think your great strength is your vulnerability. You would be hard pressed to convince me that you were the least bit anxious on this carpet today. You have no idea. <laughs> you really? have no idea. Well, you've got quite an act going because I couldn't pick it up and I'm listening carefully. Oh. Um, like the other sharks here, uh, my problem, I don't mind investing in your deal, you're a winner. But I like to feel important, and I, I play a key role with every one of my entrepreneurs. You know, either a mother, grandmother, advocate, supporter, basher, whatever they need, I become. What would I do for you? I think Mark put it best where I, maybe I'm in that old mindset of where I think I need a team. I'm not as clear on that answer anymore, to be honest. You're not um, sure you even need a shark. We're convincing you you don't need it. I don't know. I mean, all of you guys have such great <laughs> points. <laughs> so yeah. I still feel as though I would need that extra guidance, but maybe that's the overthinker in me, you know? Yeah. Because you've come full circle on that, I'll go out for sure. Yeah, you Thank don't you. need anybody. Thank you. All right. So we're all out. We're sorry we wasted your time. <laughs> <laughs> Far from it. You guys, this has been eye-opening for me. Thank Good you guys luck. so much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Good luck, Congrats, Sophie. Sophie. Thank you. Well, she just went up a notch in self-confidence. Yeah. Yeah, what a start. That was very difficult for me to do, but they really did give me a boost of self-confidence. <sighs> I did it. I never thought that I would be standing here today, let alone being capable of actually forming a pitch and practicing it and saying it in front of the sharks, but after today, I really feel as though I can almost do anything. <laughs>